Oh, not again. Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome to my shop. I was going to be doing a video today on dimensioning lumber. How do you take it down to thickness and width? But that's gonna have to wait for another day because I shot all the footage for it and I realized I forgot to plug in my microphone. Oops. <laughs> Uh, no problem, I had two other videos I was going to um, upload. Those would work great. Unfortunately, I put the SD card in the SD card slot and the SD card slot shot sparks, which fried all three videos that I had recorded. So, um, I didn't have a video for today. I reached out to the patrons on Patreon and said, guys, I need your help. What's a quick topic I can talk about? Something that might give good information for people. Something you've been wanting to hear. And a Bill Trainer gave me the idea of putting out where do I get ideas and uh, information on hand tools? What are some of my resources and content? So I really wanna talk through uh, what are some of the locations I go to, information's where I get my source. So let's go check that out on my computer. So there are a bunch of different websites and locations and events that I go to, and I kinda of wanna point these out. Number one, this is uh, Reddit um, hand tools. And I'll leave a link to all these in the description below. And I like to go here. It just gives a lot of information on uh, tools. Um, it's a it basically a forum, but a little bit better with uh, pictures and video and things like that. Um, some of my videos I'll, I'll post in here. But uh, good information from a lot of different people. I like going there. Um, another one is the Midwest Tool Collectors Association. Um, MWTCA.org. Um, I go over here to the tool meets. In the well, here me take you back to the home tab, but uh, come down to tool meets, and here you can see all of the meets. And these are the local ones that are absolutely fantastic. Like uh, near me, uh, Wisconsin, St. Francis on February 26th, that's about an hour away from me. And then down here in Illinois, um, Loves Park. Uh, this one is actually just a, a mile or so away from my house, so I'm gonna be there for sure. But the annual meetings, um, great. There's also a, a crazy amount of information in here that is fantastic. So definitely this is a site you need to go to, mwtca.org. Then uh, an event that I go to uh, whenever possible, and I'm going to be at it again this year, is Woodworking in America, uh, popular Woodworking in America. And this is a, a convention that's for woodworking, but is very strongly focusing on hand tools. Uh, definitely something I would say go look out. Uh, they will be announcing more about it here soon, and I am looking forward to that. Um, a couple of paid things that I do that I found extremely hand useful. The Hand Tool School, um, Shan Rogers puts this together, and it is phenomenal. Uh, the community alone on this is incredible. Uh, just the amount of information you can get on this site is is just mind-blowing. And uh, the amount you, you pay to get in is so small in comparison to what you get out of it. I was just absolutely blown away the first time I dove in here with the projects and the training and the step-by-step -step guides. Um, great, great information. You've got to check out the Hand Tool School. Again, there'll be links in the uh, description below. Wood Whisperer. Um, you can't talk about woodworking nowadays without talking about uh, the Wood Whisperer. <laughs> uh, and if you're not in the guild, uh, get in the guild. All you have to do is buy one project and you're in the guild uh, for life. And a great information and a lot of uh, very, very useful things on here. Another, um, another forum I use quite a bit is uh, Wood and Shop uh, by uh, Joshua Farnsworth. Uh, his um, forum here is very useful a lot of great information he is uh, geared more towards traditional hand hand tool woodworking uh, but a lot of just beautiful things and uh, great inspiration i go here quite a bit the hand tool view village at the wood talk forum is another good forum i'm often on here um, uh, this one is probably the most busy of the hand tool forums but uh, it has a lot of good information. If you have ever a question, you can ask it here and get answered almost instantly. Another one is Lumberjocks. I am on here all the time. And uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, fantastic information. And it's a good place to put your work out and get some uh, feedback on what's going on on it. 
Another place I come to all the time is hyperkitten.com. Uh, and a crazy amount of information on here. Uh, he restores and sells um, traditional hand tools. Um, he has uh, resources for things, a, uh, a blog with uh, some great information on there. But I like to go to old tool resources. And like anytime I'm trying to date a plane um, or a tool, this is where I'm going to be coming. But Stanley Bench Plane Dating, you can actually get a flowchart here. And this makes dating a plane dead easy. So it just comes in here and says, how many d patent dates are cast into the bed of the frog? You look at your plane and say, oh, there's only one patent date on there. Um, is, the, is there a raised ring in the bed of the receiver for the knob? No. Okay. Um, you have a Type 13 plane. It was made between 1925 and 1928. And it's just that simple. You follow the flowchart and it answers your question. But there's just a crazy amount of information on here. And every one of the Stanley types, it then gives you information about it. So that you can uh, go through all of these. And uh, yeah, HyperKitten is a great site to go to. Now, these are only a few of the locations that I get resources from. It is not like everything I go and look at. And there are all sorts of other uh, forums and, um, well, YouTube and other places like that where I get a lot of the information that I uh, learn about hand tools with. And I'm sure that you have a lot of other great resources that I haven't heard about before. So if you have a resource uh, you'd like added to the list, um, put it in the comments below. I'd love to, uh, to see that uh, list grow and become something a little bit larger and more comprehensive. Uh, also, feel free to look at all the links in the description below. There are all the links to the places that I have mentioned uh, there. So I hope you like this. Uh, it was a little bit different from normal, but something that might be just as useful as learning how to use a tool as learning where you can get the information about the tool. If you like the video, please hit like and think about subscribing. I do want to say a huge, huge thank you to the patrons on Patreon. You guys have saved the day, and uh, thank you for that. If you want to find out more about that, you can click the link over here. And if you like this video, Feel free to check out one of my others. You might find something you like there. And until next time, have a wonderful day.